was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there Christmas Eve is about a guy named Harold Starling, a mentally disturbed guy who is obsessed with Santa and Christmas. And not like those creepy neighbors down the street with all those bright lights and hundreds of Christmas decorations out on their lawn. The film starts out in Harold's childhood where he, his brother Philip, and their mother see as Santa, their father dressed as Santa, deliver the presents. Philip says that it was their dad, being the ball buster older brother that he is, but Harry really believes that was really Santa. Well, Daddy, you're crazy, Harry. No, you're crazy. You don't know nothing, Philip. He later sneaks out, and then he sees his dad, still dressed as Santa, give all sex to their mom. Then the film turns to the present day where Harry works at a toy factory called Jolly Dreams, goes to sleep in the Santa outfit, and even spies on the neighborhood kids to, to see who's been good or bad. He even records them on his bad kids and good list books, like Santa putting names in the list. Then we find out that Harry has problems at work also. One of the workers, I think his name, uh, Fred, ha take, wants him to take an extra shift for an emergency. Later found out that he was just lying to go to a bar. Plus at the Christmas party, some of the toys are being donated to kids at a hospital. Harry wants wants to know if there's, you know, enough toys for every kid. But he finds out that the people who are in charge of this are greedy. Knowing about their greed, Harry goes a little crazy. Not kill crazy if you want to know. He steals some toys from the factory, creates a bad Santa suit, paint and paints his van with a sleigh and reindeer. On Christmas Eve, he dressed as Santa with the outfit and a glued on beard. He went to the house of bad kids, take their presents, and donates them to the hospital as Santa. After he donates the gifts, uh, he goes in front of a church and he kills three people. I have something for you. I have superlative taste. <laughs> After that, he goes to Fred's house and he tries to suffocate him with his bag, but uh, he ends up slitting his throat with uh, the one of those Christmas stars. Okay, I'm gonna end this real qu quickly. Uh, he basically says the kids need a Santa Claus, which he thought was his purpose in life. And that would have worked, except the part where he killed those people. So the people hate him, they chase him, and they cause him to drive off the bri a bridge. Where he think he's dead, but uh, he, his van actually flies like he's freaking Santa Claus. It's kind of weird. And that's how it ends, with a weird ending. I wouldn't say this is a bad movie, but I'd say check it out. But, one of my problems with this movie is calling it a slasher film. If you compare this to Silent Night, Deadly Night, it's not much of a slasher film, but oh well. The Santa Claus! So, happy holidays, I'll see you later.